Hello dear students, so now today we would move ahead in this first chapter of class 9 sign that is matter in our surrounding. So here we were discussing the states of matter. If you see there are three states of matter that I have told you. States of matter. We have three states there. Solid, liquid and gas. About solids, we have already discussed in the previous video. <clears throat> so now today here we are to discuss the second one state that is the liquid one. Okay. So if you see, like suppose we are taking a solid and we are taking liquid. So what is the basic difference if you see the particles are very close to each other in case of the solids getting it or not the particles are very close to each other in case of solids but in case of liquids the particles are the particles are having some distance between them here so can you can you guess the possibilities in case of solid and liquid like here the particles were very near so that is why it was not possible to change shape getting it or not we cannot change the shape of a solid like suppose this one is the solid if you want to change the shape of the solid so it would break isn't it but in case of liquids we can change the shape because the particles are far apart here okay so they have some space in between them so we can change their shape like suppose uh, you have water and you keep water in this one glass so the water would take the shape of the glass isn't it now if you, if you just keep water in a bowl so water would take the shape of the bowl so that is why the shape of the liquids can be changed but the shape of the solids cannot be changed that is why solids are rigid and but liquids are just they are flowing now we can change their shape so that is why they are known as the fluid we are calling them as the fluid we can change their shape and they are flowing also okay so that is why we are calling them as the fluid okay and one more thing let me tell you about the so fluids uh, sorry the liquids is that uh, they have a definite volume that you have to remember because the particles are having this much distance and it would remain same whether you keep it in a bowl whether you keep it in a glass or in whatever the container you just keep the liquid the distance between the particle is going to be same so that is why the volume is fixed in case of the solid also volume is fixed so hence in case of the liquids also the volume is fixed but difference is here the particles are very near here the particles are some apart okay so that is why they are flowing and we can change their shape and we cannot change their shape the solid shape cannot be changed getting it or not and that is why they are rigid they are known as the rigid and the liquids are known as fluidos getting it or not that you have to remember okay so liquids flow and change shape hence they are known as what fluid salts getting it or not now one more thing let me tell you suppose you have salt you have salt and you have water here so the salt you have a spoon of salt just put it uh, inside the water here so the salt would be diffused in this one water getting it or not because the particles of salt particles of the salt are going to be diffused uh, in between the particles of water getting it or not so that is why uh, the solids can be diffused in liquids so solids and liquids can be diffused similarly the liquids and liquids also can be diffused suppose you have a bucket of water here and you have some ink just put few drops of ink here now suddenly the whole water suppose let's say the ink is blue as i have already told to you let's say the ink is blue now if you put this in water the whole water would suddenly become blue isn't it the whole water would become blue so here liquids and liquids both are liquids so liquids and liquids also can diffuse liquids and solids here you have one liquid and one solid so they also can diffuse but the rate of diffusion in case of liquid would be much more faster than the solid okay like suppose you just put a spoon of uh, sugar or salt in water so it would take some time to be diffused getting it or not but here if you just put some drop of ink suddenly the uh, whole water would become blue getting it or not so, so so that is why we can say that the diffusion the rate of diffusion of liquid and liquid is much more faster than liquid and solid getting it or not so that is what all there in the states that is the liquid so let me write this all that you have to also write in your notebook so this is what you have to write in a notebook so the first one is the distance between the particles in case of liquid is more than that of the solid that already i have told you here the particles would be having some distance between them okay second one liquids have fixed shape they take the shape of the container in which they are kept that already we have discussed third one is liquids have fixed volume 
बिकॉज द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन पार्टिकल्स इज फिक्स देयर डिस्टेंस इज फिक्स सो वॉल्यूम वुड बी फिक्सड गेटिंग इट आर नॉट सो दैट इज वाई वॉल्यूम इज फिक्स देयर वी वी कैन नॉट चेंज द वॉल्यूम ओके बट इन केस ऑफ द गैसेज इज इन डिफरेंट वी वुड बी टॉकिंग इन इट इन द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर सो हियर इट इज नेक्स्ट मंथ सॉलिड्स एंड लिक्विड्स कैन डिफ्यूज इन टू लिक्विड्स इफ यू जस्ट पुट सॉलिड इन लिक्विड सो इट वुड बी डिफ्यूज देयर लाइक यू हैव द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ सॉल्ट एंड वाटर एंड सुगर एंड वाटर ऑल्सो बट लिक्विड्स ऑल्सो कैन बी डिफ्यूज इन टू लिक्विड लाइक यू हैव द एग्जाम्पल लाइक यू हैव द फ्यू ड्रॉप्स ऑफ इंग्लिश यू फूट इन बकेट ऑफ वाटर सो द होल वाटर बिकम्स ब्लू गेटिंग इट ऑन नॉट सो दिस इज अगेन एन एग्जाम्पल दे सो सॉलिड्स एंड लिक्विड बोथ कैन बी डिफ्यूज इन इन टू लिक्विड्स बट द रेट ऑफ डिफ्यूजन ऑफ लिक्विड्स इन टू लिक्विड्स इज मोर देन दैट देन दैट ऑफ सॉलिड्स इन टू लिक्विड्स इफ यू आर डिफ्यूजिंग द सॉलिड्स इन लिक्विड सो द रेट ऑफ डिफ्यूजन ऑफ लिक्विड्स इन टू लिक्विड्स वुड बी फास्टर एंड वुड बी मोर देन दैट ऑफ द सॉलिड्स इन टू लिक्विड्स दैट इज ऑल फॉर टूडे वुड बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द नेक्स्ट स्टेट ऑफ मैटर दैट इज गैसेज ओके सो इन द अपकमिंग लेक्चर स्टेट यून एंड कीप वॉचिंग थैंक यू हैव अ गुड डे